Ernest Sosi III, born and raised on the Navajo Red. They've been doing comedy for years. And without further delay, let's put our hands together. Let's scream really loud and welcome the one and only James and Ernie! Awesome, we all survived the rain. Man, what a, everybody's worried about the rain, right? Not for us Indians, man. We got Indian village, man. We'll still, if, if this place is floating away, man, we'll just wave at everybody, right? Basically, a traditionalist man, right? They're all like, well, thank you, Bosco, for weeping on those things. And about two days later, oh, Bosco, collect that stuff. No more, no more, no more rain. This but is awesome. my, not my change. This is my tribute to the movie Twilight. All right. <laughs> I am an official member. Of, I made myself an official member of the Wolf Pack. Oh yeah. Since uh, they needed one more member. Yeah, they need one more member. What they need to see the Wolf Pack. If you already know, they're a group of ripped native men, zero percent body fat. And I'm like, hey, Hollywood. Not all of us native men are Wolf Pack material. Some of us are backpacks. Okay. <laughs> Just put that out there. <laughs> to be fair, they should have had at least one chubby wolf pack member. Yeah. <laughs> I could have went out for that role. <laughs> I'll be the one that shows up about three seconds later. <laughs> Call about the Colin. I think I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> and you gotta have at least one drunk wolf pack member too, right? <laughs> You gotta have it, man. Just to, just to keep everything in in, in the graces, right? Yeah, no. You gotta have that one guy that kind of rolls out of the back like this. He's a Wolfpack member that got run over and survived, right? <laughs> one big one has diabetes. Yeah. <laughs> and we all have been that Wolfpack member, right? Because yeah. we always walk like that. Heck yeah, man. Look in there. And, and maybe maybe we maybe I didn't even change it to a wolf. Maybe I changed it to a red dog instead. <laughs> yeah, I got fleas, my fur is falling out, and I ate some up. <laughs> oh man. No. But we are uh, we are James and Ernie. This is Ernie by the way. I know some of you are gonna call us both James and One Ernie. person is not James yeah, and it Ernie. To me. It happens to this day, it happens to me all the time. And there goes James and Ernie. I'm yeah. thinking <laughs> about myself, man. <laughs> and uh, us natives, right? We don't know about boundaries, we don't no, know about no. personal space. Never. Right, there's James and Ernie. <laughs> about to touch my eyeball, man. <laughs> Shake his finger. Don't you have one of those relatives or not like that? Just rude, right? Just come up yeah. to you. Man, you're fat. Let's just call you out, man. Right? <laughs> you always have those relatives that will never see you like forever. They'll just call you right out. They got, yeah. Look you up and down. Man, you just got fat. You're Zero. shorter. Zero manners whatsoever, right? Yeah, is one of your legs shorter than the other one? <laughs> Just call you right out, man. Oh, man, I hate it, man. I got one of those aunties that absolutely knows everything about nothing. Oh, yeah. One of those. Can I get an amen? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, amen. Can we get an auntie? <laughs> <laughs> it's like saying auntie that gives you an auntie hug. Yeah. Right? She just loves you. She's like, come here, she loves you. will pick you up, man. Just like shaking you. Your spine is kind of... <laughs> Fart is popping out. <laughs> yeah. Don't you hate that? You get hugged so hard, a fart will actually just pop out. And then I, I hate those ones where you get squeezed so hard that a fart won't pop, but it'll just ride the railroad back there. I, I hate those right there. <laughs> and the whole. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, I'm, let's, I'm let's hold on. Let's hold on. I know you people with horns, they all took out that way. He went down about three inches in a chair. Oh, shoot. Don't look, don't look, look, straight look, straight look. Minorities, us Indians, we're like that, right? When we do that, we just stop. I know, man. And some of us, we don't know how to be sly. Right? You can't tell, especially a native. Hey, whatever you do, don't look over there. We'd be like, where? <laughs> Walk over there and these guys are talking about you over there. And it's like that too, right? When you're driving a car yeah. and the cop gets behind you. Oh, I hate that. Too. Man, you just get like all oh, sweaty. Hey. Yeah. It's like, man. Especially when it's a two laner. Yeah. And they start passing you, right? You know, state police over there. I get all guilty on one side. <laughs> <laughs> You have my eyes such twitching. You have those OMG moments, right? Man, your kids are not belted yeah. in and you're, you're just trying to hold her head down. 
you, you prop your elbow against the door so you can keep, keep me squirming, right? Hold the little brother down. Choke him out. Choke your little brother out. Right now, right now. You can't enemy me, but you're going to choke him out. You know how your seatbelt's not even on, so you try to be sly and reach underneath your arm and grab your seatbelt. He gets caught in your rolls right there. <laughs> <laughs> you just caught in your roll and just leave it there, right? The tip of the seat button, just leave it right there. Just hold it down with your roll. I guarantee all of you have this conversation in your mind. You're with your own little hamster, right? A little mental hamster. Yeah. It's like this thing. Should I look at him? Don't look at him. Whatever you do, do not look at him. If I don't look at him, he's thinking something's wrong. I'll look at him. Just make it real fast. <laughs> man, one time I was coming down my Hill. State police pulled right up to me, man. Caught up with me. I was like that. He just looked at me too. He just got so, hot. Yeah. I don't know if it was like illegal or something. <laughs> I, you know, I know to do. I just kind of went. So, no, man. I thought I was going to jail for sure. I know, man. man because yeah. we're automatically guilty right away, right? Because we always get blamed for being drunk no matter what mood we're in. <laughs> we could be the most happiest person on the face of this earth. We always get blamed for being drunk. We'll walk into a place like this. He's drunk! Look at him! <laughs> That's our natural countenance. You know, man? It's our aura. Especially Thanksgiving Day, right? We've got that turkey buzz going. It's kind of warm up on fire. Looks like you're wasted. You could have got your heart broken and you walk in, you get blamed for being drunk. You're downshotting. He's drunk! Look at him! Uh, but uh, by the way, uh, when we first came here back in, I don't know, when, years ago, we were we were sober then, we're sober now today still. So still, we got yeah. that message going. Yeah, it's right on. I love being sober, man, because uh, I was one of those that could not handle my alcohol. Never. I would go through stages in one night. I'd go through all kind of stages, you know. <laughs> From 9 to 10, I was an average alcoholic, you know, at the bar. You know, caravan, west, east, whatever, north, south, all the caravans. Yeah, around midnight to one, I was like a medicine man, and I was just, <laughs> just, <laughs> just giving wisdom out, man. From about one cozy time to three, man, four in the morning, I was all gangstered out, man, like two pack. <laughs> you know, then about six a.m., you know, to business hours, man, I was in jail by then. <laughs> Back to normal. <laughs> Let me make my call! <laughs> hey, when you go to jail, they always tell you to take out your shoelaces, right? That's natives, we never have our shoelaces yeah. on. <laughs> Especially you are from the 90s, you got those Velcro. <laughs> so school right there. Those senior citizen shoes, right? <laughs> oh, man, speaking of senior citizen, I hate this thing, you know, I mean, I love the weather like this, yeah. but the one thing that I, I don't like is the age that goes along with it, because oh, yeah. your bones will start aching, right? Oh man, you know when a storm is coming in, just ask a Native American how he feels. <laughs> how do you feel? Oh, my bones are aching. Well, the storm's coming. <laughs> and then you can ask him again, how do you really feel? Well, I feel hungry. Well, let's go to Indian Village. A storm will pass by the time we get there. <laughs> man, I hate it, man. I'm starting to run like my dad. Have you seen your dad run? He runs like this. Yeah, he's not pretty. That's a full sprint, right? This is full sprint for our dads, right? And I ran just like that the other day. My dad walks like a, he's walking like a, like Gary Farmer in Powell Highway. That's how he walks out. He doesn't walk, he waddles like, hey, show your dog. <laughs> but you know, age is one thing that none of us, right, can get around. Ever, ever. You know, we just gotta face it head on, man. And sometimes life is not really nice about it. Ever, right? ever is. Right, when your knees start to sound like jacks, you know, <laughs> so you know you're getting old, man. When you switch from lotion to bed day, that's a no, you're getting old. That's right, right there, man. When, uh, when you get a, uh, a heating pad instead of an iPad for Christmas, <laughs> and by that point, last year I got, a, I got a heating pad. What the heck is that? I got offended, man. I'm not that old. <laughs> when you get Viagra from your significant other as a hint, you know you're getting old. That, yeah, that's a sure But Viagra does not work. But the number one sign that you're up there in age is when they ask you to pray for the meal. Yeah. Right? We're always asking some elder, right? Hey, let's go ask Grandpa. Oh, what? Grandpa, his prayers are two days long. Don't starve to death. When that, when that day comes to me, dude, man, when someone says, Bernie, can you pray for me? I hope that thing music from the Lion King comes down. 
Your words are red dog. Be like a red dog. His name is Puppy. <laughs> don't bring the don't bring the all the school supplies you didn't want, like the big chief tablet. No, we don't want those. We go at home. <laughs> but yeah, we'll be out there at Sydney tomorrow with 49 laps. Tonka means AJ Chalapa, Pat Harvey, myself, and Ernest David Sosa III. That's right, man. Um, actually, that's my IHS name. Yeah. Ernest David Sosa III. That's that's my IHS name. Um, my um, I hit my name is Puppy Fiber. Yeah. So, we got different names. So names are important to us, Native Americans, right? They identify us. For example, Crazy Horse. From that name alone, you know he was crazy and he had a horse. <laughs> or maybe his horse was crazy and his name is John or something like that. But the thing is, names are important, okay? I even have a scientific name. There he goes, Native American Mission, I got a question, plus the best one off of us. That's my scientific slash AA name right there. Slash AA? Yeah. Yeah. Who, who went to AA today? Anybody go to AA? Just kidding, don't, don't worry about me about one second. It's a trick question. But I'm glad you're proud of it, you know? Because I remember going to AA, and every, at every AA meeting, at the end of the meeting, they ask this. Is there any new members here today? I never, ever cop to that. I don't mind, I'm thinking, I'm not new, I've been drinking 20 years. <laughs> Maybe my hand. Oh, man, and it's good, though, man. I mean, it's right. I've been sober now for, I just celebrated uh, 18 years. So, uh, 18 years. Pretty good. That's a good stretch. How long have you been married? Has been uh, I've been married for 14 years. 14 years, check that out. Look at that, no applause for marriage, man. <laughs> at this point, sobriety is more important than marriage, right? <laughs> I get it. And then, but marriage will we'll celebrate sobriety yeah, more than marriage, amazing. right? That's a movie. That tells you how much we drink, man. <laughs> I, I'm not kidding you. They, I quit drinking. Budweiser threw their flags at half staff, man. That's how, <laughs> that's how much I drink, man. I know. Oh, so, so, yeah. Again, I, I, I remember those days. But, you know, yeah. in, in our travels, we're actually getting ready to go up to Alaska. We're going to Fairbanks, Alaska. So if you got yeah. relatives up there, we'll be there next we're month. We're going in October 23rd. We'll yeah. be there. Uh, I think we're the only ones dumb enough to take a gig in midwinter. So. <laughs> Which is their midwinter, yeah. Yeah. But it's great. We have awkward moments. Hey, I mean, everyone. Yeah. No awkward where moments. We go. That's what makes life interesting. Yeah. You know, um, everyone has everyone has walked into the wrong restroom at some point, right? I mean, uh, someone's like, "Whoa, what happened yet?" <laughs> Tonight don't, night. Don't worry, you will. One time I walked in, I, I didn't realize it, but um, I was in a movie theater, right? I was on uh, the sink, in the bathroom, I was washing my hands. This lady walks in, she stops at the door, she sees me, she just like look of fear just come over her face, and yeah. she's like. I'm like, yeah, no, no, no. She's like, oh, she just turns around, and walks out. I'm like, Shit, that sucks. How embarrassing for her. I'm washing my hands. She walks back in. She's standing, looking at me. I'm like, hey. That same look of fear came over my face. I was in the woman's restroom washing my hands. Oh yes, sink checker, ma'am, sink checker. These sinks are working. Go ahead, use them. I, I, I hate it, man. And that, that actually happened to me. I walked into the women's restroom by mistake. By mistake. Let's get that straight right now. By mistake. <laughs> and and uh, I, I was one of those. We always fly out of Albuquerque. So I meet Bernie yeah. at the airport. And I drink a lot of coffee because uh, I live in Farmington. Right? I think that. Wake up. And, and man, when, I, when we got the plane in Reno, Nevada, I was doing the P dance. Oh. Have you ever done the P dance? 
It's kind of like, it's like, it's like a miniature rain dance, right? <laughs> right here. And when you're about to do the peat dance, number two wants to come out too, right. right? Yeah. So you shift. So now you're walking like this. If you're a Navajo, right, number two is like, shish hop. <laughs> what about me? I want some tank air too. And man, I got a tech train at that moment, man. I was doing this. It, it, it looked like he was doing Zumba, you know? <laughs> I mean, it actually was so bad that I actually had to drag one leg behind me like this. And he's walking like Bruce Lee, you know, into the gym. And I walked into the women's bathroom. I mean, I just didn't walk in there. I walked in there and sat down. Like he was a member. <laughs> he back in like a cancel for her back. And don't tell me none of y'all have never done this. Sat on the bowl and continued texting, right? Because that's what we do, right? We don't read newspaper. We go on Facebook. <laughs> OMG, call my shit like this, man. Put your status up, you know? You're kind of worried. <laughs> Hashtag, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hashtag, this is not going to be pretty. <laughs> All of a sudden, what I noticed was it was too quiet. Oh, man. And you know what's natives? When it's too quiet, we will not unleash yeah. the beast from the east. <laughs> that in itself is an awkward moment, right? Because you first you get in there, noise, foxes, portables, flushing. Your hand dryers, so you just sit down, dead silence. <laughs> it's like everyone said, shh, let's listen to him. All you'll hear is the sink drip. <laughs> and see you in there, oh, somebody help in there. You try to, you try to trip that sensor so you can make some noise. That thing never works when it has to. What I did hear was, women's high heels makes a very distinct noise when it hits concrete. That's right. Sounds just like a travel official on horseback during the parade. <laughs> Door Next stall, right? I could see women's high heels underneath. Oh, man. Six-inch pumps. Hold up. <laughs> O-M-G. I was like, that's women's high heels. Of course, every phone has a camera. I take a picture. <laughs> man, I was like, only in Reno, Nevada, the guys were stuck like that. And I walked back. And that's what I was wondering, how he got out of that situation, right? What do you do, just sit in there all day until the coast was clear? No, men, it's okay in our lives to at least one day let out your feminine side. Yes. That would have been one of them. You have a one yeah. only hall pass to, let out to the, show your lady side. Your feminine side. That would have been one of them, right? Just walk out, nice pumps, bye. <laughs> has a feminine side, you ladies have seen it too. Your lady will never tell you she saw your woman's side. If you haven't seen it, you will. Yeah. Come in. Like the drive from here to San Cedro, oh, I yeah. guarantee you, you'll slam on the brakes when you coyote cross the path. Right. <laughs> Full blown fucking feminine side just comes out, man. It'll last for a few moments too. Oh, OMG! I almost hit that coyote! Oh gosh! Come on, come on, let me, let me gather myself. <laughs> you have a one-time pass, so please use it wisely. By the way, uh, some of you came here with a GPS system, right? GPS going places somehow. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, I, I, there's an observance I saw on this, right? My GPS has a white woman's voice. Yeah, she's nice to me. Yeah. She respects me. <laughs> she don't belittle me. If I miss the turn off, she's like, that's okay, big guy. <laughs> Just make me a turn. You're still my hero. Everything is going to be all right. What if it was a native woman's voice that came out of the Jesus? <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. Man, you must have turned off that thing and start yelling at you, right? Well, shut it. You grabbed the keys from me this morning. You don't even own this truck. I own this truck. I make the payments. I take care of your kids. <laughs> that thing is just like cussing you out, man. It'll jump off the dashboard, come to your elbow, right here by your ear. What are you going to fucking tell us for? You got diabetes. <laughs> Turn this truck around. Get to the fitness center. Hurry up. <laughs> That's why so many men are always here checking out a gallon. <laughs> At some point, they just jump out. But we love you ladies. We love you. Yeah, okay? yeah. Don't get it, don't get us wrong. Don't get it wrong. We love you. We need you. <laughs> right? right? We got to have you. But we want to apologize on the behalf of some of us native men. We have no game. We ain't got no game. We are non-players. 
<laughs> For example, me, when I first met my wife, hey, what's a big girl like you doing in a small place like this? <laughs> just blew it, just blew it right from the get-go. She's like, minding my own business, why don't you try it? <laughs> okay, gotcha. We just blow it, some of us, right? Yeah, we right do. from moment one. We have a crush on you ladies. We love you. We check on you out, you know? We don't know how to approach you. But right here, this part, right here, the verbal, the verbal skills are not there, you know? Not there at all. We're like, hey, are you from prison? Because you're a killer. <laughs> hey, are you now though? Because you're a walking in beauty. <laughs> Are you from Albuquerque? Cause you're flooding me. <laughs> Is your name Chitty? Cause you're hot. <laughs> Red my <I> feet. <laughs> or Christmas. <laughs> Just blow it. <laughs> it, it. It's good, man. Cause you know, marriage is good. And then what, what happens after that is we, we usually don't get married right away. As natives, we don't no. get married right away. See, you gotta test it out, man. We gotta test drive it for like four years, <laughs> five years. When we do it backwards, man. We're like contrary warriors. We'll have kids first. Somewhere near the introduction. What's your name again? That's right. <laughs> Finally, six years later, six kids, you know? Because we step step it, right? Just have your woman get a room at IHS, you know? You've been here for a while. We're gonna get this over with. <laughs> By the way, uh, if you are, if you are any, any married couples here today, married folks, any See, newlyweds, that's, that's, any newlyweds? Okay, right. That's, that's, that's the trick question again. Nobody ever raises their know. hand when you say any married people. Everybody's kind of like, yeah. it's kind of like an auction, if right? <laughs> if you are a, a newlywed couple, you know, in the first couple of years, just just start having babies, man. Just get it done with. Right, right. You have three, four, up to six of them. Just get it done. Cause I messed up, man. I messed up, man. I have four kids. The, the oldest is 23. My youngest, two. I made sure I'm gonna be busy until 90 years old. I'll be going to his graduation. I'll be like, hey, what should I say? They'll be like, uh, Kermit, your great, 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 great dad is here. I believe he's still breathing. <laughs> Get it done right away, man. I got, well, I've got four kids. I got a 13 year old, I got a 10 year old, then I got six year old twins. Ooh, man. I got a Walmart deal right at the end. Buy one, get one free. <laughs> Big lot special. Big lot special. But you know, these kids, these kids, you know, God bless them. You're very honest, yeah. you know. And, and, and you know, no matter where you go, these kids will narc on you as an adult. Yeah. <laughs> Some of them are too honest, right? Yeah. Because you know they keep they actually keep us adults on the straight and narrow. Yeah. These, especially like five, six, seven year olds, man. They don't know how to lie, right? I, I, you know, I'm like everyone else. I'm not, in this day and age, with this economic, you know, situation that's going on, it's been going on for a number of years now. We're always trying to take a shortcut. Save a buck here, save a buck there. I take my family to Golden Corral, right? I'm in the parking lot and say, Hey, today you're five. <laughs> you're five, okay? You're not seven. You're five. Get in there, yes, two of those, and uh, he's five. That kid, no, I'm seven, that, I'm seven. I'm five. He's five, call the cops, I'm seven. <laughs> I know, man. And we were doing a presentation out there in Cuba City one time. We were telling the kids, don't do drugs, don't do alcohol, don't chew tobacco. Yeah. This one little kindergarten girl, God bless her heart, she raised her hand. Hi, proud you, man. My mom, she chews skull. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> My mom, she chews skull. Her honesty will not stop. It was broken. My mom, she chews skull. My mom, she chews skull. Teacher, teacher, please. My mom, she chews skull. Her heart got tired. What'd she do? My mom, she chews skull. But it was hot, man. Can I be quiet? So, you know, finally I was like, shh. Put your hand down. If you put your hand down, I'll buy your mom a can of skull out of your show. That's how awesome kids are, man. My six-year-old, at the time he was six, right? He asked me this question. I'm not giving you a true story. He said, Dad, who made God? Exactly, man. My mental hamster almost had a heart attack and died right there on the spot. And I was like, oh, it actually fainted. It was just in this wheel. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, who made God? Who made God? Are you serious? Are you made it's gotta be the Chinese, you know? <laughs> Made in China on everything, it's gotta be. <laughs> That's gonna be Chinese. You know, and, 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 and they're very honest like that. So, yeah. you know, 
you know, a couple of years ago, Black Friday it came around. You know, everybody loves Black Friday, especially the ladies. Yeah, that Black Friday, right? They have Thanksgiving, National Women's Holiday. Yeah. Okay. All the women know about this. Oh man, ladies, they love this, man. This is better than going to yard sales. Sometimes my wife is up at 3 a.m. fully dressed, makeup on. She's stretching out. She's going through UFC cage. <laughs> Ladies will turn into different type of species for a sale. Oh man. Yard sale. Have you ever done, done that? They'll like pull out a paper and they'll map out the whole thing. Just turn on the street over here. Turn on the street over here. Like that. Oh, just on the ground like that. This one. Like Tom Cruise moving up. <laughs> so Black Friday is no different, man. They're lined up there. And yeah, before the store opens, man, they are dolled up. I heard it's, nice. I heard it's scary. I heard they have like mounds of merchandise yeah. and you can't touch it until it's time. So all these ladies are standing around in the huddle, shoulder to shoulder. If you ever seen a movie called I Am Legend, there's a scene where this creature is huddled like <laughs> That's Black Friday. <laughs> so you know, I live in Farmington, New Mexico, and everybody always asks me this question. How can you live in Farmington, New Mexico? That's such a racist town. I was like, I know I hate everybody that's there. <laughs> so, you know, I, I took my son, and I took my son, right? Man, I went over there, and they, 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 this is the first time I saw white people turn into Indians. <laughs> they were parking all yeah. over the place. Yellow lines, yeah, man, they didn't care, man. They didn't care, man. Walmart, we walked in there, man, they were just lined up just like the Indians were. <laughs> Got out with my son, I was like, wow, look, son, they have finally adapted to our way of life. <laughs> we finally assimilated them. <laughs> man, we got in there, man, and I always get the race cart. Oh, I hate the race cart. Have you gotten this race cart that I am talking about? Yes, I have. I pulled out one, and you can tell which is one is the race cart, right? The one wheel is always wobbly on one side. <laughs> the whole experience is pushing cart sideways. Yeah. <laughs> and then the fact that we don't even turn because it's stuck with hair. The woman's black hair, no reservation. The guy would just drags, we can skid mark all the way through. Be careful of that wheel, the one that's wrapped with hair. Because these ladies will find any piece of hair that's on you and jump to yeah. conclusion. They will break it down. Oh, man. They will CSI it. Man, they'll pull it off you, start grading it with their nose. They'll drop it off at IHS lab. Who is she? Who is she? Who are you shopping with today? Look at this Indian that she's got a chief firm. Who is she? She works at Indian Village Expo. <laughs> Man, she'll start grading it. Smell. Who is she from Coach City? Who is she? Smell <laughs> Molly's? And, and, and you know my son, he's jumping up and down. Dad, 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 dad. I want to check out the toy hour. Right, man, we just send them off in a little Indian fashion. What's that? That. I mean, this is Indian fashion. I'm in it. Get out of here. Go check it out, man. We said, don't touch, just look. If you open it, you have to buy it. We just have food stamps. That kid was gone. I am not worried about somebody taking my kid. No way, man. No one wants to kidnap an Indian kid. They're like, how about an Indian kid? No, they're poor. Wait a minute, they got free money. Go get them. I have never seen one Indian kid on an Amber Alert ever in my life. Yeah. So I know he's safe. <laughs> if, if there was a description of an Indian kid on Amber Alert, it would just be the same across the board, yeah. right? We got a lost Indian kid, he's got a crew cut, scarred up head, he's wearing a, a fitness t shirt, tribal fitness, it's dirty, his diaper is soaking wet. <laughs> and I was like, what are you doing? That's our kid. <laughs> But I hope, you know, I hope they're still not putting uh, the faces of lost Indian kids on the back of milk cartons. They did that back in the 80s. It did not work for Native America. Why? We are lactose intolerant. <laughs> we don't even milk. We're not going to find our kids. You want to find our kids? Put their little faces on a casino chip. <laughs> or a slot machine, right? Go find them. And sh 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 Curtis, Curtis, Curtis. Check it out. There's Curtis. He's missing. Thanks, Curtis. I want a jackpot. <laughs> and nowadays, what these schools are doing is they're taking pictures of the kids, right? Yeah. And they're putting them, you know, they're, they're actually putting their photos like in the schools. Our kids, they don't smile. You know what the teachers are? Little Johnny, 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 smile. Man, we don't smile, right, whatsoever, right? We're just like... <laughs> <laughs> like a bunch of little <laughs> We 
We look like sheep. <laughs> so you know, you went, went to walk over again, Black yeah. Friday. Black Friday, man. He takes off, right? And I continue shopping. I'm, I'm pushing this cart, you know? And I'm putting in all the Indian essentials. You know what that is? What are they? Ramen noodles, yes. hot Cheetos, yes. Spam, Vienna sausage, basically everything that diabetes prevention tells you not to eat is in your cart. It's sitting in my cart. And you work for special diabetes. <laughs> All of, a sudden, all of a sudden, I hear this, da, da, da. And when the Indian dad hears that in the Walmart, all the Indian dads turn around. <laughs> what? Is that mine? Is that yours? Yeah. Didn't you pay child support? <laughs> it was his, his son coming My up. son, he's running down the aisle. Da. He's got something clutched in his hand. Da. It turned into a slow motion movie for him. Da. <laughs> I found it. It was like, it was a lot of dramatic, like Jean Claude Van Damme. Like, what sort? <laughs> it sped up into real time. His son slid his feet. I found the eye. Like it was not an eye patch that he had found, ladies and gentlemen. He found a woman's thong somewhere in Walmart. <laughs> uh, the Asian chip stuff like this. OMG string. Oh man, I was frozen in time. I couldn't believe it. I was like, is that really what I think that he has? <laughs> He actually looked like Coco Pelly staring at this. Yeah. This. <laughs> yeah, it was red. The last time I saw something, I was like, that was on baloney shopping. It was skinny baloney shopping. This was a big baloney. <laughs> Huge baloney. Oh, man. <laughs> Trends and I grabbed it out of his hand. I was like, "Get that to me!" Man, it must have belonged to a big Indian girl because I was gone forever, y'all. Man, where'd you find this? Where is she? He's walking out of Walmart. You're like this. He said that on social media. What do we do as parents? We turn to our kids, yeah. right? What did you steal? Explain it, kids. You better start emptying your pockets out right now. And don't make it in the kid cry at Walmart because he won't stop, man. Never, right? man. You have to start hyperventilating. They <laughs> 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 try to talk to you in that mode. You say, me, what do we do? It's weird. You better be quiet or I'll speak you harder. <laughs> quiet. And you'll know, you'll know as parent when you went too far when you hear this. <laughs> At that point, you're like, oh shoot. Oh, hey, shoot. Here's some money, here's some money. Shoot. Don't come on, don't come on. That's what Anna's gonna do. You just start mining it. <laughs> Right, we get all offended. You know, we're like, me? Shit! Start talking French. What? How dare you? Excuse me. Man, I started emptying out my pockets, pulled out my phone. I totally forgot what I had put in this pocket earlier. Man, I was standing there in front of Walmart and I pulled it out like this. Man, I was standing there with a big baloney string, right? <laughs> I had totally exposed Victoria's secret right at that moment. <laughs> like Conan holding something up in <laughs> These are these are awkward moments, man. We all have them, you know. I hate I hate using public restrooms. That's where all my awkward moments happen, you know. Um, Cause when I get in there, man, I, I don't like using restrooms near any kind of Native American event or res. Like right now, if you go to these restrooms, I bet you all the locks are broken. I bet you they're not even work. I bet you you have to be your own lock. You ever do that? <laughs> Sitting in there, you know. Somebody comes in, you're like, mm -hmm. <laughs> let them know you're in there, right? Are you waving at them? Hello, occupiers. 
Can we do a traditional? Uh, oh. <laughs> Woman's rest in. Oh. She's like, I'm not a whole girl. <laughs> Some of us are so rich, we're still trying to get in. <laughs> hey, I'm in here. <laughs> I'm in here. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, I hope with your shirt. What I really hate, and I know you hate it, and yes. I just hate it, when that crap is too wide. <laughs> right between the door, right? You actually think eye contact. <laughs> That's how wide it is. <laughs> Guys walk around right you like, oh, shh. <laughs> Start reading all the stuff on the wall. Some of you try to put a, a roll of toilet paper right there. You ladies hand your duty and burp just right there at eye level. That's embarrassing, man. Some of us will still be looking at their too. What's up? Are those new shoes? Where's my five bucks? <laughs> Tell your mom I said hi. I always say it too because it's always a relative that recognizes you. Hey, I'll be outside. Mom. She. Oh man, the awkward moments that we have, man. It's Love crazy. It. <laughs> now you know, uh, James and Ernie Comedy. We uh, we also uh, we always promote sobriety. We always promote yeah. wellness and. Uh, it, it's great. That, I know some of you are always uh, asking when our next DVD, when, uh, when our next movie project is coming out. We actually finished shooting a movie called uh, uh, Dry Lake. Dry Lake. Drunk Town Finest. Drunk Town Finest, whatever it is. Hopefully it gets uh, premiered at Sundance Film Festival up in uh, Utah, so uh, after that they'll probably release it. Here's the website you can check it out. Yeah. It's called Drunk Town Finest. Uh, it's, it's actually an awesome, awesome movie, awesome script. A lot of Native American actors in there. Uh, I think it's a good one. Yeah, 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 and uh, and also we actually recorded another DVD, but what happened was the computer crashed. Producer, uh, <laughs> the computer crashed, lost it all. Start from square one. So we one. lost it all, so now we're gonna start from square, uh, square one again. So uh, we're gonna re redo another uh, Such show. Such a life, correct? Yeah. So it's one of those, you know, that that we always say that no matter what's going on in your life, you always gotta laugh it on. Even if the creditors are calling you right now for their truck payment, laugh in their face. I know they're calling me. I know they're calling me right now. Hey, where's my truck payment? I dare you. Do this next time. <laughs> they're going to be late next month, too. <laughs> it's funny because you live on the red side, you're all cocky. Come get it, man. <laughs> you want your truck back? Come get it. About two weeks later, you're telling me, shoot, I'm going to get caught. <laughs> <laughs> now, and, and, it's, and, it, and it's great, man, because uh, now we're starting to introduce, we dropped the props there for a while, so now we, we actually yeah. brought a couple of props. Oh, props here. Let me show you this first off. Show the first thing. You see that? That's how big my fists were when I used to drink. <laughs> Full of faults, you know, confidence. I'd get in a fight, that's how big they were. If I just said, come to my way, Go to the casino, you think your fist is that big pulling that thing around. <laughs> Don't worry, honey, I'll get our car payment back with our house payment. <laughs> this is a new one here. Uh, a new uh, uh, entrepreneurial idea here. Good old rattle, you know, good old, good old sturdy rattle, you know, can hear it my way. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach a salt shaker to this. So when you can keep a track of your high blood pressure relatives, you know. Maybe you're watching direct TV back in the back, you know, all of a sudden you hear this in the kitchen. <laughs> Grandpa, that's too much salt! <laughs> Put it down! <laughs> now there's certain things about Native America that's only only we recognize, right? Other people, they will never get it, right? They will never understand us Native Americans. Why we have seven people in a single cab truck? <laughs> it's raining, that's why. Why some of our vehicles sound exactly like us Navajos? Have you ever turned the key on an Navajo truck? It goes, is it, is it, uh uh, uh uh, uh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is it free? Is it free? Is it free? Is it free? If you turn the key on a public car, it goes, hey, 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 hey. 
our laundry and you're like, why does he throw these away? Because we're hunters and gatherers, that's why. Those are our bestest pair. Those are the ones that we shot the trophy elk in. We were in famine mode, I don't know. We only wear our underwear until it's just a band that's holding it together. A band of Indians. <laughs> Yellow in the front, holy in the back. I uh, know. Oh. Fruit of the loom, now it just says boom. It's how worn out and it's faded. And ladies, we will talk better to our tools better than we do to you. It's a proven fact. Have you ever seen a man working on his truck? He's always talking to it, right? Shut it, man. Get in there. Get in there. We talk to our tools, right? Guys, know this. We will spread out all of our tools. 283 pieces to be exact. We talk to them like we're the medicine men. Thank you all for coming out here today. Oh, 916, 3 inch drive. Combination benches. Don't hear about the holes. Oh. 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 Thank you all for coming out here to this ceremony by Kim. This is not fun. Oh. 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 right here. We built all these schools in Albuquerque. It's my land anyway. Oh. Man, thank you to Walt Drill for all these years we've been screwing around Bally. together. Bally. Skill change, and thank you for all those woods we cut. All those woods, thank you. No permit. Change. We have no permit, but we don't need a permit anyway. It's okay. It's, okay. it's my land. It's our land. It's all of our land. One day we shall have our land back. Oh. We reach into our cedar bag, but there's no cedar. There's a WD-40 can that sits in there. We pull it out. We spray all four directions. If you're in Albuquerque, it's northeast, southeast, and North we have no idea, so we just do this. Who made the streets here, man? Their compass is off, you know? That's north. And 50 years later, that's northeast. We even bless our bro that's standing right next to us. Oh, that's it. Yes, yes. I hope. Any ahos? Aho. But it's okay, ladies, on the flip side of that coin, we gotta get used to you. Yeah, you ladies and men, you love your purses. Your purses is... Because it's not, it's, not, it's not one person, it's plural. Purses is... You know, you know it's purse cubed. Purse to ten power. You got one dooney bird, you gotta have another one. Yep. A dooney bird is one thing that'll stop a woman dead in her tracks, walking through Dillard's. She'll have one on hook on her shoulder, that one so stop. <laughs> Look at it. Stare at it. Examine it. Sacred. Sacred. Oh. She'll turn into a whole different uh, creature right there. My wife. That creature from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> my precious! <laughs> oh, my precious! <laughs> Her wingband is glowing. <laughs> 
I've seen a lady turn into Chewbacca. Uh, uh, a husband has turned into a uh, master Yoda. Ooh, how expensive that is. <laughs> Enough money, I have not. <laughs> but you like ladies, I want you to have good things. We buy them. And the ladies are multitaskers because it's always a, a thing to watch. Because as couples, right, we pretend like we are driving the getaway vehicle as husbands when we go to Walmart. Yeah. We pull up to the doorstep and we drop you off. We ladies love Walmart. You jump off with your, all your purses. Yeah. And what do we do? We, t we turn around the getaway car, right? <laughs> and we're taught like res dogs to obey and we just park. And we watch the doorstep. <laughs> See if she's coming out. No, that's not her. <laughs> it's her sister. <laughs> but it's always interesting to watch ladies multitask when they're coming out of Walmart. They're on the phone, they have a person, they have a child on their hip, and they're pushing the car at the same time. <laughs> and they always forget where they park, so they're standing there. When they do finally find their vehicle, they put the baby on the hood of the vehicle, they pull up that purse and it goes on the hood of their vehicle. And I don't know what's in that purse, man, but that vehicle seems to have a three inches. This is what she talks to her son. That's where I put that at. We'll save that for later. Pretty soon her hood looks like a yard sale that's going on right there, right? Finally, in the end, what did she do? Oh, the keys were in my pocket the whole time. Yet Walmart makes you ladies lie. Yes. I go up to Walmart with my wife, and she's like this puppy right now. Flat out lying in my face, man. 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and still sitting in the parking lot. I'll be right out. <laughs> oh, man. The hardest thing for us men to ever get used to in a relationship is this, ladies. Let down that first part in front of you. That is the hardest thing to do. That's scary, man. You don't want her to know exactly how sick you are yeah. right away. Yeah, so what we do is we release those about 3 a.m. <laughs> you know, when your mask is all hard, <laughs> you're in REM sleep. We'll start releasing them one at a time, though. It sounds like a drumbeat. <laughs> and then we'll clinch it off. I mean, clinch so hard, we'll actually grab bed sheets, right? <laughs> Make sure you're still asleep. Sure enough, they are on there. You're still crashed. This time we bring in the whole drum group. <laughs> There's a point of no return. We cannot stop it. It all comes out. <laughs> that makes her up. She's like, honey, I heard something outside. Go check it out. <laughs> Go back to sleep, my dog. It's just the wind. It's just the sound of enemy. It's just that it's the wind. It's just ah, the wind stinks and I hate it when the sewer blows this way. It's a dark wind. Oh man, we hope you guys had as much fun as we did here. We'll actually be back here next Sunday. Yeah, next Sunday. Next Sunday same we're going to be back same time at 8 o'clock. So if you guys want to say, hey man, those guys are really funny. They, and they look funny, they smell funny, and they <laughs> laugh funny, and they look funny. Bring all your relatives and it's free. Just your admission to your fair is free. And, and uh, we're going to check out the parade tomorrow. This is the first parade that all the Indians are not camping out for the next day. <laughs> I don't know, man. Appalachian Parade, man. They got crazy rights. <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks before the parade. Yeah, man. They're buying sheds and moving them in there. The trailers are in there. It's <laughs> greedy. <laughs> and if you guys want to buy our James Ernified DVD, I know that you guys have seen it. Here. Uh, yeah, we got those over there. You know the one, right? Where you always tell us, all oh, my kids, they say your lives word for word ought to show up. <laughs> hey, I want to give this to this young man right here. This is a uh, solo DVD of mine called Awkward Moments. I'm not having for sale right there. Just for hanging out with us, man. Yeah, awesome. Don't do drugs, don't shoot tobacco. <laughs> don't fart in the daytime. <laughs> and that'll be $20 you can pay over there. Right. Uh, <laughs> hey, visit our website at jamesarie.com or like us on Facebook. Hey, Facebook. Who's man. on Facebook? Who's on that's, Facebook? That's in the drama. That's in the drama right there. Man. Who's on MySpace? That's an old school. 
in the drama where we all take our profiles of ourselves in the bathroom on uh, Facebook. Why is it? Why is it? Why is it? So tomorrow we'll be at Sippy. It's a free show. Just bring the uh, Sippy Jim. Sippy Jim will be there. Sippy on Sippy. Some of your friends say, what, Mississippi? <laughs> so check out Wilson's Sunday. Yeah, that in, uh, what, what is that place called? Rio Rancho? It's, uh, Rio Rancho. Well, Long the Rio Grande. Long the Rio Grande. Somewhere along the Rio Grande. Oh, it starts at 7. 7. So be there at 6. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if it's a free show, there'll be all kinds of Indians over there. I don't know, I don't know that. Yeah. So, uh, we'll be selling DVDs and posters right over there, so come say hi. Hey, Check Indian out, Village? man. Indian Village, Orlando, thank you for bringing us out year after year. You guys are awesome. We are James and Ernie. <laughs>